Hello, this is Becca. Thanks for joining me in Doing Reading Club. Today, I'm going to continue to read from the book When Breath Becomes Air, pages 175 to 176. 오늘은 작가가 마지막 수술에 들어가는 부분입니다. 수술 장면이 자세하게 묘사되고 있어서 수술이 관련된 전문적인 단어가 자주 등장함을 먼저 안내 드립니다. 그럼 읽어 보겠습니다. As I stepped out of my car at the hospital at 5.20 the next morning, I inhaled deeply, smelling the eucalyptus and was that pine? Hadn't noticed that before. I met the resident team assembled for a morning round. We reviewed overnight events, new admissions, new scans, then went to see our patient before M&M or Morbidity and Mortality Conference, a regular meeting in which the neurosurgeons gathered to review mistakes that had been made and cases that had gone wrong. Afterwards, I spent an extra couple of minutes with a patient, Mr. R. He had developed a rare syndrome called j e r s m a n s where after I'd removed his brain tumor, he'd begun showing several specific deficits on ability to write, to name fingers, to do arithmetic, to tell left from right. I'd seen it one, only once before as a medical student eight years ago on one of the first patients I'd followed on the neurosurgical service. Like him, Mr. R was euphoric I wondered if that was part of the syndrome that no one had described before. Mr. R was getting better, though. His speech had returned almost to normal, and his arithmetic was only slightly off. He'd likely make a full recovery. The morning passed, and I scrubbed for my last case. Suddenly, the moment felt enormous. My last time scrubbing? Perhaps this was it. I watched the thoughts drip off my arms, then down the drain. I entered the OR, gowned up, and draped the patient, making sure the corners were sharp and neat. I wanted this case to be perfect. I opened the skin of his lower back. He was an elderly man whose spine had degenerated, compressing his nerve roots and causing severe pain. I pulled away the fat until the fascia appeared, and I could feel the tips of his vertebrae. I opened the fascia and smoothly disconnected, smoothly dissected the muscle away. until only the wide, glistening vertebrae showed up through the wound, clean and bloodless. The attending wandered in when, as I began to remove the lamina, the back wall of the vertebrae whose bony overgrowth, along with ligaments underneath, were compressing the nerves. Looks good, he said. If you want to go to today's conference, I can have the fellow come in and finish. My back was beginning to ache. Why hadn't I taken an extra dose of NSAIDs beforehand? This case should be quick, though. I was almost there. Nah, I said. I want to finish the case. 네, 이번 시간에는 말씀드렸듯이 작가가 마지막 수술을 참여하는 장면인데요. 여기서 기본적으로 단어를 먼저 살펴보자면 175페이지 가운데 Before M&M or Morbidity and Mortality Conference에서 Morbidity는 병적인 상태, 질병률을 의미합니다. 아래쪽에 Deficit라고 하면 부족 말하고요. 여기서 이 부족이라는 것은 이 환자가 수술을 하고 나서 
어, 증상이 나타나는데 그게 일반적으로 우리의 능력치의 모자람을 보여주는 장면을 묘사를 하고 있죠. 유포릭이라는 것은 아주 큰 기쁨인데요. 이 환자가 그 수술 휴유증으로 지속적으로 기쁜 상태로 있음을 나타내고 있습니다. 다음 장 보시면 세 번째 줄 thoughts 라고 하면 이제 비눗물을 의미하고요. Degenerated는 퇴화함을 의미합니다. Fascia는 근막, 그다음에 vertebrae 척수, dissected는 절개하다고요. Lamina는 얇은 판을 의미합니다. Ligaments는 인대입니다. 어, 이번 시간에는 이 환자를 마지막으로 수술하게 되면서 이 작가가 의사로서 본인의 마지막 수술 장면을 스스로 믿을 수 없어 하면서 이 수술을 아주 오랫동안 기억하게 될 것이라는 것을 보여주고 있습니다. 오늘 읽은 내용 어떠셨나요? 좋았던 문장이나 나누고 싶은 생각은 댓글로 남겨주세요. 오늘도 들어주셔서 감사합니다. Hope to see you again. Bye.